Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video. Once again we're back here on Greenwich. First of all, I've kind of forgotten what we're doing, but just seeing this I've remembered. And yeah, also I apologise for there not being any video yesterday. And um, yeah, I was just overly busy and didn't have time. So yeah, I do apologise for that, but nothing that I can really do about it. If I'm busy, I'm busy. That doesn't mean there's only going to be one Greenwich episode this week, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, well, continue, because for anybody who has forgotten, we were here collecting up straw. Just so you mean straw. And we're taking it to sell. So yeah, it's fairly good yield, as you can see. So I shouldn't take too long to get all this all uh, collected in, hopefully. So it's just thirty percent full now. Obviously. Still a bit left in the field, but I don't know over the amount. Yeah, you can't fit that much in the loading wagon, but it fills up quite fast because obviously, well, it's all the straws on the ground, and there's a fair bit of it because, well, it's all the stalks and stuff from the soybeans. So, anyway, quite a good little job, this just collecting stuff up. Why not? I'll do a bit of interior view. Seems to be a bit lower yield here, it looks like. So obviously, getting quite full now, but don't know if we're even going to make it to the end of this row. We hopefully should, but... If we do, then it's as far as we'll be going with this load. No, I don't think we're going to. No, we just couldn't. So... Not as check pricing because there's only one place that actually accepts this, which is the barn. So, luckily not overly far away. I think we might actually just be doing one load today. So I'm also thinking... Since we've gotten a fair bit more money in, I'm hoping to get some soil sampling stuff. 
and a quad for it. And they're also a trailer that kind of thing. Well, no, I already have a trailer. So yeah, this is kind of the one load that we're doing today, hopefully. Might get another one, but I think this is all we're going to be doing in the vault rack. I'm for obvious reasons wanting to get it all sampled well pretty much as soon as we get all the straw out of the field so yeah we're almost at the bar and luckily isn't too far from where we live yeah it's just up here on the left actually now we're we'll going to here Making's not great with a full load wagon behind us. I see this is quite a tight yard. I'm sure we can make that. So now it should start to unload. So that's an extra ten grand coming. So we're going to be going out in the van once we get back to the yard, I think. So, yeah, I will see you guys over at the yards, yeah, see you in a second. Alright, then, everybody. I think we'll just park up. Actually, now I'll come out of the drive, I think. Over here, now I'll we'll walk over to the van. Better lower front loader. Right, so van's just over here. I'm sure we'll be able to find somewhere to crawl through the hedge. I think, hopefully. Yeah, this looks kind of not so dense. We're in. We're in. So I'm just hop in the van. Oh no, we need trailer before we can do anything. It shows you if it's right in at the back, as I thought. trailer on we can actually go out with it. I wonder what caused that. Oh yeah, I forgot this van doesn't like to go into sheds with a trailer for some reason. It's a bit weird. So yeah, we'll just head on over to the dealership. Oh, better lock up thinking about it. Right, hopefully that's... Yep, yeah, that's just about out of the way. It's 
So obviously we'll easily get a quad and a uh, sampler on here. Obviously, isn't too far to go to the dealership. Still might take a bit to get in there, but luckily, van is well our fastest vehicle. And we'll have to slow down a bit because there's a fairy limit over here. Obviously, it is quite nice being able to drive through the town, it's something a bit different. You quite like the van. So, yeah, that's that building that's brick and metal is the workshop, which is that dealership, so we're just about there. Yeah, this is actually quite a nice map. So I don't really want to block the doors, but I'm going to. That shouldn't be here for an overly amount of time, hopefully. Plus, they have another door. So I think I'm wanting to get a quad, probably. Oh, it's in here. It isn't that one that I'm wanting to. Oh, and I haven't got this, that search mod enabled either. Seems to be a lot of things not enabled. I'm probably skipping right by it. Because this one doesn't actually have the you know, hitch that I'm on. Yeah, it's definitely not in there. Not in there either. So I don't know where it is. Oh well, looks like we'll just get into something different. No, no, does this have a... No, that doesn't have. Right. I think it'll just have to be this one. So that's 23,000. No, 23,600. And then the model's needing the precision farming scanner thing. Which is, I believe, in MISC. I'm not sure actually. Yeah, it is. That's another 17,000. But it will make us money in the long term. Because, well, right now we aren't actually really taking care of our stuff very well. Like our soil and stuff. So, obviously, we have gone for a gator. Just need to quickly reset. You quite like when, with the enhanced vehicle mod, change gear. And as you can see, if a vehicle is a lever for whatever it's in forward or reverse, uh, gear stick. Then it actually changes instead of when you go backwards or forwards, it actually changes when you change gear, which I do quite like. And if we need to touch the hoses, 
Yeah. No wonder is there. No, that's not. Oh, yeah, it, that just goes down like that. Okay. Right. Actually, I'm going to quickly take a screenshot of this. Because it is probably going to be the thumbnail. There we go. Right. I want to try and get kind of more of the weight on the axles. Yeah, and that should hopefully work out. Yeah, that isn't extending past the back or anything. And we should hopefully be fine. Awesome. Strap that. Right. Okay, then. Right, we are ready to go. Honestly, this is quite a long vehicle because it's a long van with a long, long trailer. I do quite like. Or actually, no, we're going to go left, I think. You quite like the van. So, it is quite different driving through town. Oh, this is Bally Green. But you know, at least I believe this is, yeah, it is Bally Green. As you can see just there. So obviously no speed limit here other than your normal road limit, which is 60 obviously. Possibly a bit fast for towing a big trailer, but... You know, that's what we're doing. I'm not to lose the gear. Luckily the van's got pretty good brakes. Right, there, put the parking brake on. And just for me to open the gate it might seem a bit extreme, but obviously I don't want to lose my van or my trailer and gator and the analyzer. It's a nice gator. Yeah, even with this line of vehicle, which is pretty long, as you can see. So we still have a fair bit of room, so you could probably get an Arctic in here and still be able to open the gate. We need to cut some grass from right along the sides. At some point, and maybe all sort of stuff in the middle of the gravel track might be taken out. So now we just need to bring the home for this stuff.
This is a very, very bumpy track for it. Right, so I'm hoping to just park up just right in front of the chickens. Right, it's so parking brake on, engine off, and then we can get out and. Well, first of all, we'll open up the shed. And then plan. I think we could probably move this stuff to be over at the other side quickly. Try and move the trailer. And I'm sure this other stuff can go kind of along this edge somewhere. And then, well, this thing can really just sit right in front of the trailer. I'm hoping to leave enough room for the... Yeah, hopefully we'll slip the stuff down the side. This way it does, for obvious reasons, weigh a fair bit, but that is kind of its job. And this thing doesn't really weigh as much. Still quite heavy, but it doesn't weigh as much. Right, so now we can get a gator in, hopefully. That's like tabbed out of it. So we'll go into reverse, take parking brake off. I think we'll take, and take the soil analyzer off of it because, well, we'll probably use this thing to sell eggs. A lot better than putting them in well, a mobile workshop. Yeah, we would help if we lower it. Okay, so that should be lowered. Okay, good. So, yeah, this will probably be used a lot for transporting eggs and yeah, feeding chickens like if we're taking grain over from the silo. And it'll get used for that kind of thing. As well as obviously soil sampling, so it's gonna have quite a few jobs. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And yeah, goodbye.